So now that we've created our inventory, what we want to do is we want to populate our level with some of these items. So I'm going to go through the level here and I'm going to start populating with some items. So if we go to our blueprints folder, we can pull in some different items. We'll start with some armor and I'm going to just kind of put a full armor set over here. We'll just pull in this, we'll pull in this, we'll pull in a chest piece helmet and the hips here and I'll just kind of rearrange them around a little bit Move this one up above the ground kind of rotate it a little to have the arm pee the boot boot up here, kind of move it back, just kind of want it to be sitting on the ground, and maybe the glove will rotate so that it's laying down, it up maybe just rotate it push it back with the rest okay maybe we'll put some weapons so I can put so we can put an axe over here and maybe we'll just rotate it Rotate it this way so it looks like it's leaning against the wall over here. And I'll turn snapping off so I can kind of get it a little closer. And maybe we can put a potion up here. Go to my potions, bring a health potion in. Maybe I'll have it sitting on this ledge over here. Maybe we'll put a Watermelon over here, and just kind of duplicate it a few times so we can pick up a few of them. Maybe one up here. So you see what we're doing here. We're just kind of populating the world with some various items. So I'm going to spend some time doing that. And then when I'm done, I'll come back and then we can try out our level. So here's the world that I came up with. And my thought for designing this was kind of that maybe there was some kind of giant battle or something that happened. So there's all these pieces of armor and weapons and different fruit and potions strewn about. And you can kind of walk through aftermath and pick everything up that you want. Watermelons here. The big mace, a note, lots of different things that you can pick up here. And then as you get too much here, you can see I've become over encumbered, so I'm walking slower. I can go to my inventory and click on the different items that I've gotten. And if there's more than one item, you can see that it's showing up here how many there are. I can rotate around the items. We can filter through the different items we have. We can favorite items by pressing the F key. And when we favorite them, we can go to our favorites tab here and they show up. And then we can unfavorite them. And they'll go away. 
We can drop items and they show up in the world. And then I can even use a controller to move around. And when I use a controller, you can see that I can actually scroll through the different filters and the different items. And then when I use the control stick, it actually rotates around the item. So that's it. That's our inventory system. We've completed everything for this course at this point, and you have all the knowledge that you need to use advanced widgets. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I'd love it if you'd leave me a review for my course. It's a great way for me to receive feedback and allows me to improve my future courses and how to create the best learning experience possible. I want to thank you much for taking the course, and hopefully I'll see you again soon.